we're taller, have more size, more gifts than they do, and that's, that was the bottom line of the game. I think that uh, first half we did not play well. We were uh, played not very intelligently early in the second half. All of a sudden now we're running, we're defending a little bit, and we're shooting over 50% for maybe the first 10 minutes of the second half, and then we went brain dead again. But uh, where we are, 4-0, uh, but I told them big leagues are starting right now. We are more gifted, more blessed than Elon was. Their guys outplayed us, out coast us in the first half. But uh, uh, the stuff starts now that every game, if we play poorly, we're going to lose. And I think they've got to understand that. I gave them the best news. I asked them if any of them could guess the best news. And Shea Rush got it just like that. And he said, we don't get to see you tomorrow. And I said, that's right. That's the best news I can give you because tomorrow's off and I'm going recruiting. But uh, uh, we really made a bunch of mistakes. And in the second half, like I say, the first eight or ten, Curse may have a better viewpoint of it because I never look at the time on the clock and don't look at the score very often. But I thought early in the first half we were really good, and then all of a sudden we quit playing again. But uh, Armando, 22 and 14, I told him he could have had 28 or 30 because uh, he was just soft around the basket a couple of times. But what you really like as a freshman to have 22 and 14 and play about 75% of the game. And so that was good. Cole was not good tonight. Uh, Garrison and uh, Armando. Uh, they're 15 for 26, and the rest of the team was, what did we say? 14 for, 40. 14 for 42. So we've got to get smarter. Other than that, not much to say. You caught a timeout about two minutes plus. Yeah, the first one in my first, earliest one in my history, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, doesn't have a lot of competition, though, either. <laughs> no, we were stupid. Come on. I mean, it, it, the first day of practice this summer, first day, we ran regular secondary break, and the guy in the corner comes up and sets the rear screen. What was this day was 35, 36 practice yesterday, for the, 40 practices. We've done that every day, every day. God forgets to do it. And so then we did something else. It was sort of silly. And I just wanted to scream so I'd feel like I was getting something done. You said Cole wasn't good tonight. What does it say about how talented he is for him not to be so good in your eyes, but a point and two assists away from the third triple double in school history? I, I don't look at the stats, Harley, but guys, four for 14 and four turnovers, that's not what Cole Anthony can be. And my standards are very high for Cole because I think Cole can be fantastic. But one time I called a set play and he tried to go on his own, tried to split a double team, and guess what? It was a turnover. And then down at the end, the guy comes up behind him, slaps it out, it's another turnover. He tried to go split a double team across the, from the bench, it was a turnover. You know, and I've seen some really good players, and he's got a chance to be one of the best I've ever seen. Uh, but also know when good players stink, and that was about it, about half the game tonight. Now, he competes like crazy. So he's all, always going to do some good things to help you. And I mean, uh, what did you say, 10 rebounds? Yeah, he's always, he's such a competitive kid. He's also always going to do some things to help you. Uh, but tonight wasn't one of his best nights.